Hey, well, the new Mac Pro looks pretty good in the layer next to my uh, Quicksilver there. It's a, a, a little bigger than I thought. <laughs> Let's have a look at those holes there. Shit, that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can, hey, we can shrink it down as a tiny little Mac Pro. It's just a tiny little Mac Pro. Can we make that bigger? Let's see, can we get like a large Mac Pro with, oh, whoa, boy, whoa, okay. Too big, too big. There we go, much better. Let's spin you around, big boy. Let's see what we got on the back. Show me the back side. Show me the back side, oh yeah. There's those ports. Power, the expansion. Oh yeah, you look real good next to that good old Quicksilver there. All right, let's dive into this guy. Hey guys, how you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because finally, holy shit, we got a new Mac Pro. It's only been five and a half years since the frickin' trash can came out, right? And man, it's been over a year since I released that concept video and now we're actually here and it's ready for you to take another mortgage out on your home. So the first thing when I saw this, I, I was originally like, what? What? It looks kind of weird. It looks a little weird. It's very holy, if you will. And actually, I, uh, I kind of thought about the old Power Mac G4, the mirror drive door with all those holes on the back. Excuse me, not holes. What is it again? Uh, let's see, Huxley Dunsany. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Ventiports. They are Ventiports. Not sure if that's actually what they're calling them or not. The awesome video with Johnny Ives' cool British accent didn't say that word once. But anyway, it's part of the cooling system. The cooling system consists of three large fans and a blower, and we're getting some massive lag on that website there. Look at that performance. There's three fans in here and a blower, and this extrusion is very durable, made of aluminum. It's an aluminum housing, and that just helps ventilation. This thing is as quiet as an iMac Pro, and that's freaking quiet. And to me, that's important. I like a quiet machine. Man, that is a beautiful inside. This inside looks better than the outside of a lot of other cases. I also thought about the easy access to the inside. I thought about the handles on top and then the feet on the bottom. Let's just go down there. Yeah, this. I'm kind of thinking about, you know, the Power Mac G3, which I just did a vintage Apple Vault episode about. You know, they have the feet on the bottom of those and the handles on top. I mean, they're going back to their roots. They did that stuff in the 90s and they're going back to this stuff. And then the housing coming off the top, I mean, that's something that the Mac Pro trash can did really well. So they borrowed some of that, borrowed some of their old things with the G4 and G3 designs and boom, blammo, you have the new Mac Pro. Very cool. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, literally it is cool. It's part of the cooling system, but I'm still getting used to how it looks. It maybe looks better in person. It just, it looks like a cheese grater. I didn't think they could make more of a cheese grater looking computer, but they did. I just want to grate some cheese on that shit. Oh, the cheese grater. Oh. <laughs> oh, I miss the cheese grater so much. You could actually like put stuff in it. Uh, <laughs> Okay. You know, I really need to take a chill pill. Yeah, I'm a little too excited, hang on. Woo, that was a caffeine pill. Should have read the label. Okay, we're just gonna keep blowing through this here. You can unlock it on the top and slide the cover off and get to all the internals. You can access it from any side. So there's no like one point of entry. You can get access to this thing on any side of the computer. And we're talking a 28 core Xeon, up to a 28 core Xeon, guys. Man, Apple hasn't released the full pricing of this maxed out computer yet. Baseline is about six grand, but the max config they haven't announced yet. However, my buddies at MacYak pointed out that the 28 core Xeon just the processor by itself is $15,000. So place your bets now as to how much the computer is gonna cost maxed out. Probably what, 30, 40 grand? Up to four terabytes of internal storage. And yes, you can expand that obviously. Again, expansion is big. And a lot of pros like to work off of raids and sands and all that stuff anyway, but you can expand a lot more into this guy. Lots of IO to go. You can put again, expansion modules on the back. A lot of PCI slots. So let's talk about the video performance for a second. This new Mac Pro uses what's called MPX. 
Mac Pro Expansion. There are these modules. There's two of them that the tower supports. Each module can have two video cards in it. So in a way you can have up to four GPUs. Holy shit guys, four GPUs. Plus an afterburner card which accelerates ProRes performance. So editing is just gonna be lightning fast and honestly, ProRes already performs so freaking fast on so many systems. Hell, I edit all of my videos in Final Cut Pro on this six year old laptop and I'm fine. Holy crap guys, having an afterburner with four GPUs, 28 cores, and get this, one and a half terabytes of RAM, not hard drive space guys, RAM, 1.5 terabytes of RAM, 140 gigabytes, not gigabits, gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth, six channel memory system. So in case you thought the iMac Pro had too much, well, now you have a lot more than that. Coming back to the video cards here, 56.8 single precision teraflops. So on the video side, you can have up to 56 trillion single precision floating point operations per second. I'm gonna let that sit in. That's a lot of calculation. Memory bandwidth on each module, on each MPX module, one terabyte per second for the video performance. This thing is gonna crush anything you need to do with it. Yeah, sorry, NVIDIA, I guess they're still not using you. I'm sure there's some people pissed about that, but I don't know. I've never been too partial to either brand, but uh, hey, if you have an opinion, let me know down below because uh, I want to be educated. The cards also have an infinity fabric link. I don't even know what the shit that means. Now again, modularity and expansion is really important because with the trash can, there really wasn't any of that. So you have double wide slots, single wide slots, half length slots, total of eight expansion slots. This guy on my shirt, you know how many expansion slots this Mac had? Zero goose egg. And here's the beautiful design without all the internal stuff in it. Very cool and quiet cooling system. I like that. Stainless steel, handles, feet. Hell, you can even put wheels on this thing and push it around. I'm not kidding. It has freaking wheels. It now does weigh 40 pounds, so wheels are nice, but it does have handles too. And then the aluminum housing with the 3D, hang on, man, Venta ports are on the front and back to keep the thing cool. There's the name on the inside of the computer just in case you forgot what you bought. Just another look at those glorious Venta ports. Look at those beautiful 3D extruded holes in the aluminum housing. It actually is pretty slick. I think it'll look better in person. Again, it took my eyes a while to adjust to it, but I think it'll be better in person. And yeah, there it is. Wheels, you can buy wheels for the freaking thing for only $5,000 a wheel. Just kidding, I actually don't know the price. They didn't announce that yet. Now this guy here, I need to talk about too. This is a companion product to go with the new Mac cheese grater. This is the Pro Display XDR. What does the XDR stand for? Extreme Dynamic Range. What does that mean? I don't really know, but it is a pretty slick display. 32 inches, 10 bit P3. And there's also a very special matte finish design, which uses some fancy, uh, probably chemistry term to make it sound cool, which is $1,000 more. So it's $499,999, $49.99 by itself. So it's five grand. The matte finish version is like six grand. The stand for it, yeah, it doesn't come with the stand. Just letting you know, the stand is an additional $999. And I think during the keynote, I heard some people laugh when that part was announced. The Visa mount adapter will be $199 and the Pro stand $999. And like the Mac Pro, they'll all be available in the, in the fall. Yeah, I don't know. But the stand is pretty slick. It lets you rotate the display into portrait mode. There's still space on the back for your ports when you rotate it. It has a virtually weightless adjustment with the counterbalance in there, just like that good old Luxo iMac. Look at that, which is also a product coming up on Vintage Apple Vault, so I highly recommend you check that out. They're going back to the iMac G4 for this display, and they're going back to the old G3 and G4 towers for this Mac Pro design with the ventilation, the handles, the feet. They seem to go, be going back to stuff that worked. So I know that monitor probably sounds expensive, but Apple made a good point. There's other systems out there, reference monitors that are like thirty dollars or $40,000 that don't have all the features that the Pro Display has. So again, 32 inches, 10-bit, P3, and it is 6K. It is a Retina 6K monitor. Pretty badass display. It has similar Venta ports on the back, which turn the whole thing essentially into a heat sink to cool that massive video system, because that's a lot of pixels that thing is driving. 
The display has 20 million pixels, over 20 million pixels on it. 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, 1600 nit peak brightness, and 1000 nit sustained brightness. And actually, while taping this tech video log, Egg Freckles on Twitter just sent me a picture of the mirror drive door. Yes, I know. Uh, the new Mac Pro really does uh, feel like that in a way. All of those ventiports. Has anyone else ever heard that word before? It sounds cool. So the Pro Display and the new Mac Pro are both coming this fall, which is code for December 20th. Honestly, I thought briefly for a second they were gonna do another cylinder because during the keynote, I saw this round thing and it was just an extreme close-up shot of the ventiport hole. So, whew, dodged a bullet there. And also, this is the thing we need Apple to do. Now, I'm sure we were all pretty excited and pissed off at the same time when the trash can got announced. But then nothing happened for f over five years. So Apple, please, you have another chance to win the pros back. Provide updates. Give us other modules we can put into this thing. Actually provide updates. Don't do what you did with the trash can. You totally blew it. Now, I know you had thermal issues. Hopefully with all these gosh darn holes, vent to port holes, you can actually keep the system cool for all of your updates. And then, I mean, if you can guarantee that, I think you have a real good winner here. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Eh, eh? Do you wanna buy one? Do you wish you could buy one? I mean, I kinda wish I could buy one. Honestly, I might just get a freaking trash can because, I mean, for what I do, it would be enough, and I'm sure the price of those things is gonna go down with this being out. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think, I'm curious. And uh, if you have any other cool WWDC things you like, let me know. I plan on doing at least one other tech video log about another WWDC announcement soon, so stick around for that. Thanks for watching. Catch the crazy and pass it on.